consumer math unit prices. So this is kind of practical. Makes me want to go get some coffee, actually. I remember thinking when I was a kid, I thought coffee was disgusting, and now I love it. Darren works in a coffee shop and makes 80 cents a day. If Darren, I wish, oh, no, that's not a good, that's not a good salary at all. Um, if Darren works eight hours a day, how much does he get paid every hour? Okay. So he makes 80 cents a day. Poor Darren. If Darren works eight hours a day, how much does he get paid per hour? Well, that's 80 cents a day divided by eight hours, and we'd end up with right one here, zero here. So two decimal places, ten cents. So he gets paid ten cents an hour if he makes if he works eight hours and gets eighty cents for the whole day. So I'll do zero point ten cents. It costs nine dollars to buy ten serving platters. If the platters all have the same price, how much does it cost to buy one platter? Well, it's just nine dollars divided by ten. But dividing by ten has a trick, right? I think we should use the trick, which is you just move the decimal place over one. So it should just cost ninety cents a platter. Madison buys her cat a bag of cat treats for $7.70. If the bag has seven treats in it, what is the cost of each cat treat? Poor Darren making 80 cents a day and Madison's buying her cats $7.70 treats. $7.70 divided by seven. So we end up with one. We end up with one here. There's something on my screen that's making me not able to write here, guys, sorry. Uh, seven, and then I will have a zero, and I'll put a zero here. So it'll just be this, two decimal places. So it'll be a dollar and 10 cents per each cat treat, right? 770 divided by seven is a dollar and 10 cents, right? You could divide the $7 by, seven and get a dollar, you could divide the 70 cents by seven and get 10 cents, right? So a dollar and 10 cents. What is the better buy? Ooh, four sponges for 480 or six sponges for 660? Well, if we divide 480 by four, we get a dollar 20. If we divide 660 by six, we get a dollar 10. So which one's the better buy? The cheaper one, right? Six sponges for 660. Cheaper. What's the better buy? Seven sponges for 980 or eight sponges for 880? All right, let's use some logic here, guys. You can buy fewer and get and pay more, or you can buy more and pay less. There's an obvious, you don't have to do math to know which one of these is better, right? You're getting more sponges and you're paying less. It sounds like a, I like, sound like a salesman for these sponges, but you are, you're getting more, more sponge for less money. So it's gotta be this. What is the better buy? Seven sponge, okay, again, more sponge, less money. More sponge, sorry, less sponge, more money. So this is this is bad. Now, it would be harder to tell if it were like more sponges and more money, and then you'd have to actually do the math. But here you don't have to do the math. You're getting eight sponges, which is more than seven, for less money. What's the better buy? Four sponges for $10 or two sponges for 540? So now here, technically, we have to do some math, right? So four sponges for $10, that's gonna be $2.50 a sponge. 
two sponges for $5, $5.40, well, you can already tell that's a worse deal, right? Because if this were $5, right, it would be two fifty. So it's going to be more than two fifty. So this is going to be more expensive, the one on the right. So the one on the left is a better deal. Which is the better buy? Five sponges for six fifty. Okay, so we're gonna have to do or three sponges for four fifty. Okay, so four fifty divided by three is a dollar fifty cents. Six fifty divided by five. Let's go ahead and just work it out. Will be one dollar and thirty cents, right? So that's cheaper than a dollar fifty cents per sponge. So we probably want to go with this one. What's the better buy? Four sponges for six eighty or two sponges for four dollars? Okay, let's think of it this another way. So two sponges for four dollars, that would if proportionally should give us four sponges for how much? Uh, I can't write. Four sponges for eight dollars. Wow. So if we if we if we bought four sponges at this price point, we'd be spending $8. But here, it's saying we can get four sponges for six eighty, So that's clearly a better deal. And finally, what's the better deal? Eight sponges for eight eighty, or six sponges for nine? I think you can feel this one out, right? I mean, that one feels really good. For... Oh, I'm sorry. That's completely wrong. Eight sponges. This is a more mo more sponge, less money problem, right? So eight sponges for less money. Or I can get six sponges for more money. That sounds terrible. That sounds like a very bad deal. It's clearly eight sponges for 880. Right? Just check. Eight is bigger than six. 880 is less than nine. All right. So next time you're at Costco or Vons or whatever supermarket you go to in your part of the world, do a little bit of unit conversion. It can be fun. I'll see you next time.